Have you ever wondered if canned fish is healthy? Well, let me make this very simple for you. Yes, canned fish is healthy. So what I want to do with this video is I want to teach you which canned fish are the best and which ones maybe aren't as best. Thing is, is there's not a whole lot of canned fish that are bad. So I had a hard time with this video trying to find a big cons list. And a lot of times the cons end up being kind of the same redundant cons. Anyhow, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through each canned fish and also things like canned oysters. I'm going to break down the benefits of each and some of the cons. And then I'll go back through and I'll give you a Thomas DeLauer sort of rating on what I think would be the best and the worst when we look at all of them. But granted, they're all pretty darn good, especially on a low carb diet. But this video works if you're not on a low carb diet too, just if you just want the general health of this. So I do want to make sure that you hit that red subscribe button. We got helpful videos like this coming out just about every single day. And I'd really appreciate it if you did subscribe and then also hit that little bell icon. That way you get a notification whenever I post a helpful video. So let's go ahead and let's just dive right in without further ado. The first one that's probably the most common when you think of a canned fish is going to be sardines and tuna. Let's go ahead and start with sardines. Okay, the nice thing about sardines, let's start with the pros here. A hundred gram serving, it's like a perfect, like a can of sardines is just a perfect serving size. It's a perfect amount of food. Okay, the other thing is you can get sardines with a bone in and with skin on very easily. In fact, more often than not, you find them with bone and with skin. You do want to try to get the bones and the skin whenever you can, simply because that's all your vitamin D, it's additional fat, and it's just a really good thing to be getting in. That's where all of your vitamin profile is gonna come from on a canned fish. You can get sardines easily in water or brine. Okay, you don't have to have them in, uh, in an oil, which I'll explain more in detail later, but you don't wanna have the fish, you wanna get the fats from the fish, not the oil that the fish are sitting in. The fats from the fish are much higher quality than the oil they're sitting in. Sardines exceptionally high in docosahexaenoic acid, DHA. 90% of the fats in our brain are DHA. Let's support this and get a good brain. Vitamin D, very high quality vitamin D in sardines. Really, no cons to speak of unless you're getting low quality ones that are in oil. So if they're in, honestly, really no cons. Eight to 12 grams of fat, generally on average, very high in selenium, which is super good for your thyroid. So to be able to convert T4 into the active form of T3, revving up your metabolism. Now let's move into tuna here. Tuna, okay, benefits, low fat, low calorie, it's the highest protein per calorie, so you get a lot of protein, bang for your buck. Easy to get in water or brine. You don't, you know, again, you want to get tuna in water whenever possible. Cons, you don't get tuna in its whole form. You very rarely get tuna with bones and you don't get the skin, okay? High in mercury, predatory fish, high in mercury, okay? Can't overdo the tuna, plain and simple. Low fat, on a keto diet, you want some of those fats and the fats from fish are great. If you're gonna eat low fat fish, you might as well just eat chicken, okay? Now, less than three grams of fat. Now, this can be a good thing depending where you're at in your keto journey, but we're gonna save that for a different time, okay? Now, salmon, people forget about canned salmon. Canned salmon is inexpensive. You don't have to go spend a bunch on a beautiful filet if you just want the beautiful omegas from it. So salmon, very high fat, more often than not, in a canned form, it's wild caught. Now let's talk about the cons. You also see a good amount of farm raised that goes under disguise. So you want to get wild sockeye or keta salmon that's going to be in the can, okay? And again, try to get it in water. Sometimes they add oil. Do not get that. Throw it away, put it back. The fishiness, eh, I put that as a con because it's like you can open a can of sardines like in a public place, possibly if they're in water, and really not upset people. If you open a can of salmon, someone's gonna be open a can of something else on you. So now we move into anchovies, all right? Anchovies, let me preface this, are an amazing fish. Super amazing. Amazing for cooking. They happen to be stable, so you can cook them and a lot of the healthy fats remain intact. They don't denature easily. No, not a whole lot of lipid peroxidation. Sodium, uh, if you're on keto or fasting, like you want to replenish your sodium content, so it's actually good there. Easy to get them whole. They're very small, so you get the bone, you get the skin. The downsides, if you're not keto, a lot of sodium, okay? We're talking a lot. And it's very hard to find them in water. Almost all anchovies are in oil. There's a couple brands that have them in, um, have them in water, but it's hard to come by. It's actually it's a good point for me to mention right here. Um, Thrive Market 
which is a place that you can, like it's an online grocery store, has a huge selection of canned fish. So they've done a really good job of that because they're an online grocery store, but they don't usually do uh, fresh produce or meat. So they specialize in doing a lot of things that are gonna be shelf stable. So they've nailed it when it comes down to the canned fish and stuff. So after this video, I put a link down below to Thrive Market. So online grocery store, get things shipped right to your doorstep. They have a cool partnership with uh, Wild Planet. Wild Planet does have anchovies that are in water. So Wild Planet has really high quality canned fish. They're like notorious for that, all sustainable, super good. So anyway, Thrive Market has a partnership with them. So anyway, put the link down below just so that you can get high quality canned fish so you're not having to guess what you're gonna get at the grocery store. So check them out afterwards. Anchovies, eight to 12 grams of fat per serving. They're also the least contaminated fish. Okay, so least contaminated in the sense that there's not a lot of mercury, not a lot of heavy metals. Again, hard to get anchovies in water. You can through Thrive, but you can't necessarily at the normal grocery store. That's the main drawback. Then we have mackerel. Mackerel is really awesome stuff. It's the highest fat and the highest calorie canned fish. Okay, very easy to get in water. In fact, you find it more in water than you do in oil because it's already so calorically dense. They don't want to be serving up a can of mackerel that's a thousand calories. The downside, high calorie, high fat. Uh, you want to avoid king mackerel though. Okay, king mackerel is very highly contaminated. Atlantic's better. King mackerel, avoid, okay? A 100 gram serving also has 360 IUs of vitamin D. It's one of the highest vitamin D canned fish that you can get. And vitamin D is not just a vitamin. It's a hormone that affects belly fat, it affects your brown fat, it affects inflammation, it affects how actin and myosin glide over each other so you get a better muscle contraction and build more muscle. Very critical stuff. Okay, oysters, my personal favorite as far as taste goes. The highest, it's the world's highest amount of zinc in any food is in oysters. Zinc is so important. We need to have a zinc balance. Tremendous for testosterone levels for men. And I mean, don't get me wrong, it's great for women too. Where it's good for women is it helps with thyroid uh, receptor cells. So it makes it so the thyroid hormone that's floating through our body can actually bind to receptors and have a positive impact. Super important. Also very low fat, so pretty low calorie. Downside is it's actually surprisingly high carb. Okay, it's surprisingly high carb in the sense that it, uh, like, you know, we're talking seven to 12 grams. That's, that's a good amount in a fish or a shellfish, right? Uh, also, of course, what is good is also bad. Low fat is also bad in some cases, right? Now, what's interesting about oysters is they contain something really interesting. It's a mouthful to say, but it's 3,5-dehydroxy-4-methoxybenzyl. What the heck is that? It is a really interesting, newly researched antioxidant Okay, activates different antioxidant pathways in our body, but it is an antioxidant in and of itself. So very powerful at keeping the system nice and clean, okay? Now, we have roe. This is wild stuff. You, you can't always find this in a can, but sometimes you can. <laughs> you can't always in a can, but sometimes you can. <laughs> Anyhow, that's a dad joke. Roe is gonna be something you probably might get a little bit more fresh, but I wanted to mention it here because it is very unique in the kind of DHA, the kind of omega-3 it has. It has something known as phosphatidylcholine DHA, which is a specific kind of omega-3 docosahexaenoic acid that gets into your brain. The phosphatidylcholine kind is really cool stuff, really cool, and that's gonna be really high in Roe. Uh, the taste of Roe is not amazing, and the access is a con, is a drawback. That's really it, it's straightforward. So you can't get Roe through Thrive Market, just so you know, that's hard to get, but, but all of these you can get through Thrive Market. So I do recommend, again, check them out down in the description. Don't let this video go by without checking them out because it's pretty awesome. Here's some notes to remember too, and then I'm gonna give you my rating. Okay, bone in always, okay? Unless you absolutely can't handle it. Skin, that's gonna be second most important. It always in water. If you can't get it in water, unless you know exactly what you're doing, forget it. Uh, BPA-free cans, very important, very, very important. Wild caught, do not fall victim to that. And then I want you to remember this acronym, SMASH. Sardines, mackerel, anchovies, salmon, and herring, okay? Now, herring I didn't put on this list just because I ran out of room, and quite honestly, herring is very, very similar to mackerel in the profile, so I didn't want to put it in there. Plus, a lot of times, it ends up having, a lot of the, the herring that you'll find is gonna end up having sugar added to it because it's like pickled herring. Um, so let me go ahead and give you kind of my rating here. My number one is going to be anchovies. Anchovies is what I would say would be number one. Followed up by sardines, okay? Now anchovies, if again, if you can get ones that are in water and have lower sodium, great. So anchovies, number one. Sardines, number two for me. 
Oysters are number three because I love the taste and I love the zinc. They would be number one, but they're high carb. So one, two, three. And then it's going salmon, okay? Then mackerel and then tuna. Now, all of these are good and I eat all of them, okay? But the reason that mackerel and tuna are on the bottom for me is because, or I shouldn't say salmon, mackerel, and tuna. Salmon, it's just fishy. It's just canned salmon is fishy. Mackerel, it's too high calories. Too, I overdo it. It's too easy for me to end up eating 400 calories of mackerel. I love the taste of it. It just, just doesn't apply. Then tuna, um, it's just dry. And if it, you end up having to add a bunch of mayonnaise to it, and it's just, it's an add as an extra step. But it's still good. Like the packets of tuna and stuff, and Wild Planet's got some really good tuna. Thrive's got some really good tuna. It's just me. So that's my rating there. Anyhow, thank you. Oh, and Rose up there too, but it's not canned, so I'm not counting it in this list. I appreciate everyone taking the time to watch this. And as always, please keep it locked in on my channel and hit that red subscribe button and also check out Thrive when you can. As always, thank you much.